of sloppy, which is usual, all the energy around day one, getting out here, and then um, having to be a little sore and come back for day two. Up the defense, they kind of dominated the day for the most part. Always hard to evaluate the offensive line and run game when there's no pads on. So, we'll pads on next time. You have pads on DJ. Saturday. Yes. Did you think of DJ? Yeah, I think he's, he feels, he seems to be a little more comfortable, which is normal, you know, as it is after an off season, but he seems to be a little more healthy. You know, he's making cuts a little bit better, and even though he'd been, you know, I guess, almost two years removed uh, last season from his knee, it still seemed to have effects on him. So it looks like he looks better. And, and our track report said that too over the last whatever month. He's not there with them. He looks a lot better than the year before. Um, what did you think of that catch Marquise made, the leaping grab, and how he's performed? Yourself? Yeah, the good thing is I don't know which one you're <laughs> he makes, he's going to make he makes goals a day. You know, he's the MVP of today. Uh, he's just unique. He's unique. I mean, obviously, he's a great player. He's a great player. You know, potential to be the best receiver of the player. You can see that before. But what, what makes him a North Fisher is, is his mindset. You know, he can get a hold of himself. Out. After all the stuff he did today, he can get a hold of himself in the last condition. Not only is he safe, they're one in the just who he is. He, he was having cramps. About coming out and stayed in there last, last race. So he's just real special, and you saw that Robert's freshman year out of him. Stanford game, with a long touchdown, he comes back and goes to kick out the double team. How many pieces is it? How bad are you? Not one and done in the football. Yeah, really. Uh, you know, we'd have a problem with that, obviously. With, uh, and how well we've had a freshman play over the last two years, and uh, especially this last year. You know, um, talk about talked about tight end being a really deep position, yet you only have one guy. Is that a concern at all? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, that happens a lot of times. You have guys react, guys that get hurt. In the fall, you tend to be better because you're moving further into the surgery for the end of the season. So some of our spots are, are lower, just like last week we were really well here with the concussion line. So at least we can, we can do, we're now our short skilled guys, at least we can do team stuff for last week. So, it will be exciting to get those guys back. But you have three sophomores and a freshman and a freshman comes, which is harshly great. Does Curtis's increased bulk give you more confidence than he had to every every game to be carried back to maybe he wasn't able to do consistently last year? Yeah, I just need Curtis with no distractions around him really and not now having been eligible for a year. Having a thousand yards, having confidence in himself, and being a starter right now uh, compared to where he was a year ago. So the question is, was he even going to get eligible for that last season? And so I just need a lot more comfortable. And you can see it in the parts of his game that have been his weakness passing, yeah, yeah, yeah. catching the ball, and out running. And he's really getting better at getting all the ground back. How has Antoine Woods progressed since he got in Yeah, a lot. You know, I mean, a lot has been made about Andre Walker's losing 60 pounds in 14 months. Um, but Antoine's lost a lot of weight, too. Um, he's come a long ways. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, he'll be a guy, you know, Mike Patterson was like that when he first got here and lost a lot of weight. Um, hopefully, Antoine will continue to develop. Is part of your plan with the quarterbacks to give the other guys uh, reps with the ones throughout spring? Yeah, we really thought that, you know, yesterday would have, or Tuesday would have been more like not what you normally do, and that was with the ones most of the time. And, uh, oh, you know, we moved today, and we moved the rest of this camp really to limit Matt's team stuff, just for people around him. You know, he'll, he'll take a lot more seven on seven on the ones, and let these other guys play in the team situations a lot more than we did today. Why do you do that? You just want to, you want them to get acclimated to doing that? You want to see how they perform? Yeah, two reasons. Number one is injuries. You know, you look, the, the injuries ever to your quarterback happen in the team stuff because people around him and someone falling around him or hitting his thumb. So, um, you know, just it became, it became, it was a reminder Tuesday about how close stuff can be, you know, so um, we're going to limit him in that stuff. And even though we tell people to stay away from him, doesn't, you, know, you can't control that completely. But then number two, it helps those guys. You know, they, they're getting a lot of reps in team situations and pockets and stuff moving around them. Do you expect Jesse to be back soon and, and able to be in that rotation? Yeah, I think Jesse will be like a, a few of our guys where 
um, the spring break. Why we did this is because you get those guys back, the guys that are kind of real close. You want know, an extra week off. You know, by the time you come back, I think you'll see those guys, just like Xavier, or like Junior. Um, you know, I think you'll see a number of guys come back. How disappointing is possible set? Sorry. How disappointing is possible setback for for George with the hamstring? Look well. Yeah, I, I don't know how bad it is, and so um, you know, obviously, hopefully, you know, he'll be right back. But um, it's, it's unfortunate because he was having you know, you know two really good days. How costly is it for a quarterback like Jesse missed at that time, you know, last in the fall with the with his wrist and now not being able to be here? Even though match your entrenched starter, how much does that handicap him? Well it doesn't help him, you know, obviously we don't hold it against him because it's out of his control. Um, but you know, it doesn't help. He missed reps, he missed reps, unfortunately. So we won't hold that against him, but that is a, you know, that's a lot of pocket reps he's missing over that time. When do you anticipate hearing from the NCAA? I don't know that. They don't tell you. I have no idea. So. Uh, Wiggs was out there a little bit today, but he left like halfway through. Where do you think he is right now, health-wise? Oh, I, I, I think that probably after spring break, you know, he'd be back doing a lot of stuff for us. You know, we're going to have another evaluation on him um, next week, you know, just to make sure that we get as much information as we can and that we're doing everything right with him. What were some of the things that you tried to make sure Curtis did once you guys came in here as a staff, McNeil? Things that he needed to change or personal well, standards? Yeah, Curtis was almost out of here. Um, you know, he was close to walking off the field one day, which would have been his last chance, and he didn't do it. And he's just come a long ways. You know, he was he was so far gone from what our expectations were about competing and doing things right the Trojan way. And um, fortunately, he turned it around, and it's, it's one of our better stories um, the entire time we've ever been here. Know a kid that far gone, um, that close to being out of here, and then to come all the way back and go through the eligibility, and, and, and now he's one of the leaders. Um, Matt Quill said yesterday that he's going to bring you to New York as part of his uh, entourage or the green room. How did that all come about? Well, I thought when he said he was bring me, I thought he meant like bring me on a plane, like a private plane with him or something. I thought bring me, bring me said, hey, you can sit at our table. I got to buy my own ticket. So, um, he hadn't got his sign in English yet. But, um, yeah, no, he invited, he actually invited me a long time ago. I think right on the day he turned, you know, the day he decided, he said, hey, I'd really love for you to be there. So, um, we moved some things around on the schedule. I think we got to make it out there. <coughs> Talk about a running back depth. Uh, there's only three guys there. So, do you uh, see kind of a play calling to focus more on wide receivers and tight ends, kind of lean on them a little bit more this year? I don't know. You know, it's too early to know that. You know, the development of Buck. You know, how healthy is DJ and can DJ continue to develop as well? Uh, you know, we could can, we can be in a much different situation, you know, if they're all fully healthy and understand our full system. So, um, but we're obviously prepared to rely on our tight ends and receivers if, if that's the case. And um, we'll be able to do that with all the good tight ends and, and the receivers and emergence of George out at receiver. Um, you know, could, could have to move us into more of a spread system. Um, so we'll see. Okay. All right, thanks.